Why does Saturn have rings? Saturn's strong gravity plays a key role. When asteroids, comets, or even moons ventured too close, the immense gravitational forces tore them apart. The debris from these shattered objects, as in chunks of ice and rock, continued to collide and break into smaller fragments. Over time, this material spread out and formed the stunning rings we see today. A delicate balance of destruction and beauty orbiting the planet. Hmm. Why is Jupiter the biggest planet? Firstly, during its formation, Jupiter's foundation was likely the largest of any planet, giving it the gravitational advantage to collect more mass over time. Secondly, during its formation, Jupiter was far enough from the Sun. As a result, the Sun's gravity didn't attract as much matter away from <laughs> Jupiter. Lastly, Jupiter captured so much hydrogen and helium gas from the solar nebula that it ended up with 300 times Earth's mass. Hmm. Why is Venus considered as Earth's twin? Venus is called as Earth's twin because of the following reasons. Firstly, Venus is almost the same size as Earth. Secondly, Venus and Earth have about the same mass, that is, they weigh about the same. Thirdly, Venus and Earth have a very similar composition, that is, they are made up of similar materials. Lastly, during the formation of the solar system, Venus and Earth formed close to each other and are now neighboring planets. Mm. Why is Venus so bright? The first reason is the Venus's proximity to the Sun. It averages only about 110 million kilometers away from the Sun. Secondly, Venus is blanketed by highly reflective clouds. The clouds in the atmosphere of Venus contain droplets of sulfuric acid, as well as acidic crystals suspended in a mixture of gases. Light bounces easily off the smooth surfaces of these spheres and crystals. Sunlight bouncing from these clouds is a big part of why Venus is so bright. <laughs> huh? Why will Saturn float on water? Saturn would float on water because it's made mostly of gases, such as hydrogen and helium, which are much less dense than water. Saturn's overall density is around 0.687 grams per cubic centimeter, whereas water's density is about 1 gram per cubic centimeter. If one could hypothetically place Saturn in a giant pool of water, its low density would cause it to float rather than sink. This is a result of the principle of buoyancy. Mm. Huh? Why does Jupiter have so many moons? Firstly, Jupiter's moons are remnants of the gas and dust disk that surrounded the planet after it formed. As Jupiter has a strong gravitational pull, it captured most of the material from the disk into its orbit. Hmm. Secondly, Jupiter is far enough away from the Sun that it's not affected by the Sun's gravitational pull. Hence, it is saved from the Sun's lunar theft. If Jupiter were closer to the Sun, it would likely have very few moons. Hmm.